your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, I'm Blake Heller. Let's look at the top stories we're following today. The Genesee County Sheriff's Office planning to release some more details after the body of a missing girl was recovered from the Flint River over the weekend. Six-year-old Taj Evans found Saturday morning near the Ballinger Bridge behind McLaren Flint. Law enforcement searching 22 miles of the Flint River, bringing in helicopters and drones. Stay with TV5 when we get updates. Sentencing today for a Flint man who pleaded no contest in a fire that authorities say contributed to the death of a firefighter. 21-year-old Jabez Bobo originally facing murder and first-degree arson charges in a February 2023 fire at Elms Mobile Home Park. Firefighter Ricky Hill Jr. had a heart attack and died after responding to the fire. While the murder charge was dismissed, the arson charge was lowered to a second degree. The hearing is at 8.30 this morning. And Vice President Kamala Harris making a campaign stop in Michigan. She'll be in Detroit for her nationwide economic opportunity tour. The Vice President will highlight how the Biden-Harris administration has invested in black-owned small business, infrastructure, and affordable housing. This is Harris's second time visiting Michigan this year. We have First Alert Meteorologist Matthew Mondro with a look at your forecast now. Thank you, Blake. For this Monday, a pretty pleasant day is shaping up here. We have a few high clouds this morning, but eventually back to full sun for the afternoon. Highs ranging anywhere from the middle 60s in the thumb up to the lower 70s farther west. Just that northeast wind is actually going to keep some 50s on the immediate shoreline, just like we saw on Cinco de Mayo yesterday. Now going into Tuesday, uh, tomorrow we are seeing that uh, marginal risk from the Storm Prediction Center being shifted a little bit farther north. Places like Flushing, Grand Blanc, Fenton, also Chesonino, Owasso, Elma, and Ithaca all included within this. Again, it's very borderline for our area. We definitely want you to stay weather aware at the very least, just given the proximity here. Uh, we will also be monitoring this as well as some of these showers and storms roll in for the afternoon. In general, at least expecting some general thunderstorms in the mix with these showers. They'll start up at around 3 in the afternoon tomorrow, still ongoing by around dinner time in more of a scattered fashion, but eventually uh, mostly coming to an end just after midnight on your Tuesday night. Rain totals here highly variable as well. Anywhere from just a few hundredths if you miss most of these showers, but up to over a half of an inch if you fall under the thunderstorm. So again, highly variable rain totals with these showers that move through on Tuesday. High of 71 just before the showers move in as well. And then 75 on Wednesday for tomorrow with the uh, severe weather potential. Again, we just want you to see weather aware and we'll certainly be monitoring that, though it definitely doesn't look like we'll have uh, any sort of large outbreak of severe weather. As we go into Thursday, that'll be the next best chance of rain for the week and that rain cools us off. Pattern change for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, keeping highs mostly into the middle to upper 50s. Remember to tune into WNEM TV5 on air and online 24-7 for the latest news, weather, and information.